Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play EverQuest 2. So today we're back on the island of Mara, and I got my trade skilling up to 51, almost 52, 98.9%. .9%. And boy, I've been just doing those rights over and over and over. Um, it hasn't been hard, it's just been a bit grindy. It takes about, uh, let's see, about 2 hours to get 10 levels, or was that 20? No, I think it was about 10 hours. Yeah, or 10 hours, uh, 10 levels. Um, anyways, I was suggested that 50 you come here and do a quest, so we're going to do that. Um, we walk up these stairs. I don't know which NPC. Maybe they all give it to you. Let's talk to this person. Salutations. Oh, no. But anyways, this NPC, if you talk to it, she gives you a quest to go to Antonica, and I was suggested to do this at this level, so wow, f at least one platinum she'll give me, so that's kind of cool. And apparently I can accept this quest now, so I must provide supplies to the Dwarven Outpost. So, um... Okay, Dwarven Outpost, blah blah blah, off and on this after short supplies, fight... To fight a rising army, blah blah blah, uh, provide supplies. So... I guess that's it, I just supply the s supplies? Supply the supplies. I guess we'll go there. Um, this is one of my favorite zones in the entire game, if you can believe that. Only because it's such a memory sake place. Uh, I guess this is what, like after a few levels, maybe level 10 or a little before that maybe, you would come over here. And uh, this is the same place. You guys might have seen this already once because the guild, when you leave the guild uh, hall, you come out here. But uh, either way, this is one of my favorite places in the world just because of, you know, the old... Uh, the old memories here. Now, I have no clue where we go here for this quest. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like we're not even going to find anything here, but let's ty type in supply... Supply crates? Pretty sure that's not what it is. Supplying stock. It says it's... Uh, maybe it's not even here. It says... We're going to post some fire mist galley off. Oh! Fire Mist Gully off of Antonica. There's an island here, wasn't there? But maybe we can't go there from here. Um, I don't think that's it. I think that's actually the guild hall there. So, Fire Mist. Huh. I guess you could type in uh, Supply uh, Stocking uh, EQ2. Okay, apparently this is an unlimited, repeatable quest. Okay, so even if she offers you this quest or any other second time of day, the instance of travel will not reset, and therefore you will be not able to total time the quest resets. Minimum level to get this is 50. Uh, okay, steps. In order to complete the quest to travel, blah, 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 you can zone it from uh, in Tonica, same door entrance as... Speed travel by charms from an NPC. Huh. Oh, that might be good. We we might try that out. Just because it will get us right where we want. Apparently, uh NPC Koro Splitterlim will sell us a charm that'll take us directly to where we want, so um you could probably type his name in here and it'll probably show up. Koro. Koro. Oh, I didn't know you have to have the whole name like that. Well, now we know. So apparently he's inside the tavern. Makes sense, we were in there. Let's open the main chat. So, Koros, blah blah blah, here he is. So he sells a charm. Oh, never mind, I thought it was six gold. Oh, maybe it is six gold. I thought it was gonna be like another one. Uh, mission stone. Oh crap! My mouse button got locked on there, and it kept scrolling. Okay, let's go back to that. I guess that's it. Uh, okay. Mission stone and return to Mar. Okay, mission stone, and we saw return down here, right? Yeah. Oh, well, that's cool. Look at that, so you can get a little bit of a fast travel. My inventory is stupidly full right now, hopefully it won't be a problem, but uh, here we go, use. That's cool, it's a one-time use charm, I guess. Mm. 
There we go. Boom! So at least we'll be in Antonica, but we'll know exactly where it is. I have a feeling I know where it is, but... Yeah, that makes sense. Which means I wonder if that portal over here on this thing could have gotten us here. But this thing is too hard for me, or it was before, so we'll see what happens. Oh, maybe it'll be different though. Since this is a trade one, maybe they'll have no combat, but that's what I'm a little worried about. If there is combat, I'm like, uh... But I feel like they make the trade ones not combat. Or have, you know, try to make it so you're safe in the sense, because I mean, I guess the idea is you could be level 1, but 80 combat for example, or 80 trade skills, sorry. There you go. Okay, so... I must provide supplies for the Dwarven Outpost. These are friendly, besides I can attack them, but... They don't seem to want to attack me right now, so I guess that's a good thing. Okay, I've offered assistance to supply sergeant with his supply shortage. Okay. I must uh, create some equipment supply for every encampment. <laughs> I'm gonna learn it. You receive standard spec manual. Holy crap! So, heavy shield combat. Oh my goodness. Must create some equipment supply. Oh. Okay, so. Oops, required. Okay, so we have to make all these. To do what we need to do. So at that point we might have to go back to the guild. Just to uh, do that. I don't know if we can do it outside of this. Actually it probably won't even let us. Uh, once you leave this it'll probably be goodbye. Yeah. I had a feeling it would be something like this. <laughs> um, Dwarven armor repair kit. Um, so we need the materials. We're going to try going back and seeing what happens. I have a feeling. The recipe, okay, so let's see what it says. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, turning in four times, determining better serve. Okay, the recipe book on the table besides him. Click it, inscribe before being craft. Click on the paper next to him. A list of items appear on your screen. Open it and everything is complete. Doing it makes it easier. Search for the recipe in each table. This will show what you need to make three of each item, but you can make uh, more can be made to speed up the entire process. See the time saving tip below. All materials needed to complete the quest are located within the zone. Oh, gather them by clicking the barrels, boxes, etc. Okay, so we, we get everything here. A crate of coal, for example. I'm assuming these materials are like lower than normal. Whoa, hopefully when they meant everywhere they meant within here. Oh, I guess so. Case of lumber. Metal ingredients. That's cool. Um I guess you could click this multiple times, because you'll you'll probably need lots of them. Huh. Okay. Uh I feel like there's might there might be more chests of gems. Wait, I don't make stuff like that. How am I gonna? We'll see what happens. There's some things I'm not even able to do, but I guess I can if I have the recipes, right? So we'll find out, won't we? So let's check to what we're used to the woodworking table here, and you can see what we need here. So we're gonna have to make three of these. And sturdy cloth, so we don't have sturdy cloth, so we gotta look for that. Oh, is this cloth over here? Aha! There you go. That's cool. So, uh, here we go. Wait! Oh, my inventory's full. Damn it! 
What a troll. What a troll. Um, so what do you do when your inventory is full? Well, you're kind of screwed, right, normally? What somebody told me one time I could do is I could do the following uh, and just dump everything into here. So I might as well dump, like, everything into here. I'll probably just get rid of any uh, things I accidentally crafted over time. Um, I accidentally overcrafted a lot of things. I guess I'll just throw it all in here. How much room do I have? 22 of whatever? Sure. I guess we just keep throwing it till we inventory is empty. So you're trying to figure out, you know, a good mount, but just keep throwing it in there till your inventory... Well, till it's full. I gotta get more bags soon. Somebody says if I get 30k status in the guild, they would give me 1k platinum. I think that's insane, but it doesn't sound like he's joking. He says if I get uh, 100k too, it's like 5k or something. Oh, we're full. Okay. Well, we should be fine hopefully now. I hope. Um, so here we go. We're going to make this. There you go. So we just go and speed through this. I've been doing this so long now. I'm like an expert, I feel like, on this stuff now. I basically spam 6, 5, and 4 and uh, until something comes out, of course. Uh, and uh, I only use 1, 2, and 3 when I need to. As in, like, you can see my uh, durability is going down quite a bit, which I'm actually surprised. The recipe could be a harder uh, recipe, I guess. I don't know if that has any effect. But you can see with all my skills now or whatever, I can go through it really fast. Like, I can boost up my durability fast. I can even boost up my progression. You'll see the bar just jump like crazy here. Isn't that ridiculous? And get, it seems just to get faster and faster as I level. So there we go. We got to 52. Ding, ding. So we need to make... Uh... Interesting. Can I just keep doing this? Or... I see it once it said 103. I thought it was a lot different. I thought I had to create all of it, but maybe you don't. Maybe I kind of misunderstood that part. I thought we had we were going to be here for like a lifetime crafting everything, but maybe that was a little too extreme. Maybe it just means I can craft one of the three. We'll see what happens, though. See how fast we went through that, though? You might notice I get like lose a lot of durability and I don't know why that happens sometimes. I guess it's a chance and I'm just getting lucky on hitting that chance which isn't really luck because it's painful but uh, that's the only thing I can see from there. So there you go. Let's see how much... Uh... Wow. Oh that just like leveled my AA. Huh. I wanted to see what my trade skill went to. Show trade skill. So it, didn't, it doesn't go up at all with this, really. Okay. Huh. Okay, the recipe books on the table. Huh. Apparently I must keep doing this. I'm not sure how, how many times. If I keep doing this one, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Let's do the shield now. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't make mistakes. I'm not used to these shapes. The other one was the carpenter style, but these aren't carpenter styles, so... It's pretty easy, I guess. <laughs> I'm so used to just, you know, matching the shapes, I guess. It's just, it's all the same now. Wow, we lost a lot of durability there. We get it back up here and watch this wall. Just say, watch it go crazy here, and it was like this little tiny bit. It was like embarrassing him out. There it goes. Just finish it, hopefully. 
There you go. Okay. Nice. And one more time to go. Yeah, see, like that big chunk I lose there. I don't know why I lose so much here. My success chance is 5, minus 5. It's a little lower than normal. Not sure what's causing it. It's me using some of the skills, but normally I think people recommend spamming all three still because it's better in the end, so. Guess it's just bad luck right now. Guess it's the last one so little, we'll just do that one. There we go. So I'm I'm kinda curious because I don't think I got Normally XP did I show adventure XP? So let's see, fifty nine, sixty percent, sixty percent. Let's try this again. Show adventure XP. I have no clue what happened then before. <laughs> it seems like it went, went didn't even go up. So it wants me to create, so this is where I just assume we just go somewhere else and start creating more stuff. One, two, oh crap, my fingers are off. There we go. One, two, three. It's actually six, five, four I'm typing in, but. See, I don't get the whole, like, 5% success chance, minus 5%, is like, that means 95% of the chance I'm going to be successful, and yet, it's like 95% chance I'm not successful. See that? I don't, I do not understand how this works. I have no clue why that happens to me. It makes me furious, actually, sometimes. There must be something other else in play here, because it's not like this normally when I'm doing Carpenter. Like, I'm trying to get this back up, and I've never had it this difficult to go up. Usually it instantly, like, goes to the next one like that. Like, that's better. Did we make it? Yeah, we made it. Weird. Maybe I should just start u stop using uh, four and one. See what happens over time. Note five does it too, huh? Still happening with four and six. There's just no winning. Oh well. Let's consider that's how it is. I guess I should be using the other ones, huh? One more, yep. Yeah. I love the music in the background. Okay.
I seem like a really successful one from the look of it, but yeah, look at that. Now I'm, I did durability there and it's still going down. It's doing the pain in the ass move again. The, the move that you just, there's no winning. <laughs> oh, and that's going to hurt me. Bo boom. It's not that bad. There we go. Hello. Must be just all of them we're supposed to do, I guess. It's the only thing I could come up with. Supply ledger. Yeah, oh yeah, so we're, we are doing them. I wonder if this automatically updates or only when you click it. I like how the thing has an actual bug with it. It flips on me when I do that. Oh, look at that. They're attacking or something. Oh boy, let's just stay over here and not pay attention to those guys. Okay, so, um, I guess we just keep going. Uh, dwarven plate, blah, 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 dwarven plate. Yeah, we haven't touched that. So I guess you just go through the, the entire list of them and just go through. can't come up with something to say when you're doing this. Usually I, I just play lots of music or watch something on Netflix through the grinding, you know, because it is a grinding process, but uh, there's nothing to say really in during something like this. I can say I'm having a lot of fun. I know some people would find this kind of crafting boring, but it's entertaining. There's so much you can do. There's crafting instances. Well, this is a crafting instance we're doing right now. What game does that, you know? That's already, like, awesome if you ask me. Um, you got that beautiful music in the background going, which is awesome. There you go. I think after this one, we'll end it here. And we'll see what comes up after. Um, but yeah, this is pretty awesome. I like this. Um, and this is what I've been doing. I've just been working on my trade skills, working on my carpenter. Uh, and it's, to me, it's been enjoyable. I, like I said, I, it's not for everyone. Clearly, you know, not everyone would play a game for trade skills. Uh, they play it for PvE or PvP, whatever. But uh, I love the trade skills in this game. It's one of the few I actually do trade skills. I'm level 20? Or no, I'm like 13, aren't I? I was like 20? Wait, no. I'm like level 13 and I'm still doing uh, trade skills. And I'm like level 52 trade skill. Shows you the kind of different game style you have here versus a lot of other games, which I find really unique. So let's see if... Oh, I escape and the list reset. I wanted to see if the list updated when we handed this in. So that was Dwarven Plate Mail. No, it doesn't. So if you open it up again, it'll probably refresh that. There you go. So yeah, I'll continue just crafting these items for them and uh, continue working on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, subscribe, comment, like. Oh, they're fighting a guy out here. Oh, look at him. Holy crap. I was going to say, maybe I could help them. They're level 100. No no thanks. Uh, yeah, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And we'll see you wonderful guys and girls uh, next time.